hello and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to discuss four top countries to relocate to in 2022 if you are nigerian or african and the four country I'm, I'm going to talk about is very easy and what you need to do is not so much in order to get into their country as well so if you haven't seen me before my name is omoumi at kcrsocomentsport.com and also if this video if it's beneficial to you please kindly like share comment please do like because by the time you like it they will be able to youtube will be able to recommend my video to others please do click the like button thank you also for those of you that have all subscribed to my channel thank you and i'm in celebration mode because i've hit 1000 subscriber and you can watch my previous video and we have a giveaway to give to people and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't to if you have not done so and also keep subscribing based on the question that somebody has that what about canada why can't i do something on canada i'm working on it and also i want to use this opportunity to tell you that I check the website, I check their website in order to get some information and I can see that they have, according to the data ARCC in Canada, what I found out is that they have 2 million application back law. They are just trying to clear out. So, this does not mean that you can apply to Canada at the moment. This does not mean that you can't try your luck. Like I always said in my feed, everybody have a chance. Try, apply, do something. If you want to change, if you want to change your environment, you want to relocate. Do something. Try, apply. And mind you, don't say because you've applied to some a place before and you apply ten times, twelve times, it doesn't matter. Keep applying. That's the only thing I can say regarding the Canada for now. I will be bringing you an update whenever I have update. Today's the topic we are going to treat is four top country to relocate to in 2022 as a Nigeria or not an African person. The first one on my list is Bulgaria. Bulgaria resident permit will give you all the rights that you need, except you won't be able to vote. And you also enter and leave anytime what but you need to have a long time stay which is their one year visa you need to have that one year visa if you have that one you continue to revalidate it every year so that one will give you a permanent stay in Bulgaria another one is to if you are a business person to have deposit 500 euro bound in investment in the country for at least five years and no further payments is required then you can get your stay after that so you all the website regarding all this information is going to be down below the for the video and i'm going to show it on the screen as well so you'll be able to see what i'm saying and get information look at the information yourself please always go back check information from the rx the next one i'm going to talk about is Belize. Belize is in Central American country and you can get your permanent resident PR from there as well for a year because you need to stay in that trip for a year and if you are to leave it shouldn't be more than 14 days it's good because we have low cost of living and it's English speaking country so you have great chance for that of moving to Belize. I'm going to talk about is Norway. If you want to relocate to Norway, education is the best route that you can use because they have best university in the world. And you won't pay anything. You won't pay a time. Both the resident and international student don't pay anything if it's a public university. If you go to private university, you are going to pay. But pop their public university, you don't need to pay anything. You can relocate from there and from there you can apply for 
visa to work and then you can start working in the country. And the last one, the fourth one is Australia. Australia in immigration is one of the most efficient one. We have easy moving process. And to move to Australia, you have several routes that you can use. There's one that we call Global Talent Visa. We have Employer Nomination Scheme. We have Skill Nominated Visa. We have Temporary Graduate Visa. And we have Temporary Skill Shortage Visa. You can use all these to work in Australia. So for you to be able to get this, you need to be under 50. And if you are applying through Skills Program, they are using scoring system. So therefore, you need to be able to score certain points before you can get their visa to go into their country. Thank you for watching.